So, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the trend line automation and Darvas Pro Max. Um, now, Darvas is a very interesting indicator. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. Uh, actually, I did some reading about the guy who created it. His name was uh, Nicholas Darvas. Um, in the 1950s, he used to trade stocks, and he created this box approach to um, identifying uh, trends. And he did very well for himself. Um, and now we use this approach in a lot of different uh, markets. So... We'll talk about Darvas. We'll talk about uh, trend line automation. We will see <laughs> very few charts because uh, my Ninja Trader just crashed and I lost about like 14 charts that I had all prepared for today, traded today. We will see uh, a chart I traded using trend line automation in micros. Now, I always neglect. <laughs> the people who trade micros uh, and today i decided you know what it's not right um i'm going to be trading a micro chart uh with two micros and the results were very impressive with a trend line automation so um let's get to it uh this is me my name is james buckman been trading for a couple of weeks uh but <laughs> a little longer than that um Teamed up with Ninzico last summer. I have my own Discord group and live room. Uh, and today, if I may brag, uh, in the live room today, we caught the low in the NASDAQ at uh, 310. 310 was our level. If anyone here is from my group, can you confirm that indeed 310 was our buy level in the NASDAQ today? Did I say, uh, this is the price? Gotta buy it. Well... 300 points later here we are okay um and uh, yeah this is the way to get in touch with me um my my email my website and um let's get to this presentation and we're gonna do well here despite my ninja trader mishap All right, so so we saw the video demo you know it, it basically shows you how you can combine a trend line um automation with darvas this another chart i had that i lost that's all right so uh, let's not talk about the, okay so uh darvas chart darvas and uh trend lines but really uh it, it is the the darvas that creates this these uh boxes which are just so effective just by themselves and um, the trend line indicator, trend line automation that Ninza co created is really unique. Now, I used in the past many different uh, trend line indicators. The problem with trend lines, and trend lines have been used for decades, right? Um, the problem with it with trend lines is that if you have 40 traders and you put them in one room and then you give them the same chart they're going to find 40 different ways of drawing trend lines um it's difficult to be objective and consistent uh, what ninzako did with the trend line automation is they created a product that in real time not only can find these trend lines but can adjust them adjust them as price action moves it can adjust these trend lines i traded today the trend line automation um, micro NASDAQ chart, uh, two micros. I'm going to show you the results a bit later, and I'm going to show you why these trend lines are so effective. If you use, let's call it a slightly higher time frame, not like a um, Renko chart, but if you use a time chart, like a one-minute chart, these trend lines that uh, trend line automation draws are just extremely effective. Um no money yet. Uh, so, um, yeah, so, I mean, they, they're showing you different examples here. Now, uh, with with Darvas, and we will see a Darvas chart as well, I lost a whole bunch of them when, when my workshop, my workspace crashed. Uh, the reason uh, Darvas is so effective and the reason it worked since the 1950s um, is that it, it will never put you 
against the trend. You 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 have to trade with the trend. The whole the whole point is it draws the box, and only if a box breaks up, in this case to the upside, is there a signal. So you are only participating in a market that moves up, you would only get long trades. In a market that moves down, you would only get short trades. What happens if the market is choppy? Well, that is the number one enemy, right? If the market is choppy, that would depend, I guess, on your setting. It could handle chop because, remember, it's only the breakout that creates a signal. If a market is within a tight range, uh, there is no signal. So in, in this sense, the Darvis uh, chart, the Darvis idea of trading can really keep you out of chop because it's only upon a breakout that, um, that the signal appears. And of course, different examples of... Uh, now, here's what I did. Um, maybe I should start showing some charts, but uh, no, it's still early. Um, so the trend line automation, by the way, it's called automation but it's not, it's not going to um, enter you into a trade via automation, just to make that clear. Uh, you could automate the signals from the trend line indicator using a third-party software, but um, uh, by itself, this indicator is not going to take trades. So just not, not to confuse the name with what it does, right? So it's called trend line automation, I'm guessing, because it automatically draws the trend lines. Um, it, it it would draw as many trend lines as you wish, and you can adjust that in the settings. We're going to take a look at the settings uh, a bit later. Um, but you can increase or decrease the number of trend lines, which has to do with pivots. Now, what do you need for a trend line? right? For a trend line, you need pivots. It's connecting the pivots. That, that's how you create a trend line. We're going to see it a bit later. So um, the indicator fires signals. In real time, they do not repaint. However, when I use this indicator on a one-minute chart, I actually disable the signals. I want to see the trend line. I'm going to explain it a bit later. I want to see it. It's not so much that I want to see a break of a trend line. I want to see if a particular trend line holds, especially on a slightly higher time frame. I want to see if a trend line holds. To me, that's what's important. So, um, and of course, Darvis again. You know, it, it's uh, it's just it's going to keep drawing uh, short signals as the chart goes down, uh, as soon as the box breaks, and you're only going to get long signals as the price action moves higher, and there are more and more breakouts to the upside. Uh, that's why this indicator is so effective, uh, because if 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 nothing else. It keeps you in a trend. Now, of course, sometimes there are no trends and then things get messy. Uh, but when there is any kind of a move, this indicator is going to keep you in the move. So uh, that Darvis is definitely trend following. Uh, there's no question about that. Darvis is a trend uh, following indicator. Trend line, it would depend how you use it. The way I use it on like a minute time frame or even a five minute time frame, I'm not very interested uh, very interested in a break of a trend line uh, because that could be at times counter trend trading then. I'm much more interested to see if um, if price can hold a trend line on a slightly higher time frame for me that's that's the key for me um right so this is again just talking about the trend line automation darvis with its with the boxes again very very solid approach to trading um and and the beauty just the way ninsuko of course when they do something it's always a cut above right when ninsuko creates an indicator it is a cut above anything else. There, there is a way to customize it 
So you can pretty much choose how many boxes you're going to get, how sensitive uh, the indicator e is to these breakouts. So, uh, okay, personally, I'm not really familiar with this one click, but it, it's a way to enter trades, I assume. Uh, and actually, they're going to give it to you as a free gift. That's nice of them. They're going to give it to you as a free uh, gift. So let's maybe take a look at a chart. Again, uh, if you're just joining us, I apologize. My Ninja Trader crashed. I lost my entire workspace. I had a lot of charts for you today, and I just lost uh, everything. And now it's misbehaving again. What is going on? Hold on. All right. Okay. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> all right. Fun times, fun times. Okay. So, um, this is the micro NASDAQ. And uh, you see, this is a PA account. Again, if you see me for the first time, I only trade prop firm funded accounts. I never come here with a SIM account or with market replay or, or with any of that stuff. If, I, if I'm going to tell you that something is effective, I'm going to trade it uh, with an account that you know makes a difference to me. And so um, for today, it's not so much this amount. This amount is, is not the point. <laughs> the point is I did it with two micros, two micros. Uh, and you know that this is micros because when you take a look at the total, uh, you cannot achieve this total, this kind of a total, with e-minis. It just not work. So let's talk about this. So as you can see, in my chart, there are no signals for the trend line because I am not so much interested in, to, in seeing a signal when the trend line breaks. I am interested to see if a trend line holds. So this is 9.30 Eastern time. That's U.S. session opens. Now let's make it clear how this works. It's not like right here you see the trend line, right? To have a trend line, you must have at least two points. You begin to see this at this point here, right? You would just see a dot, kind of like here. Right? You would you would just see a dot over here, but it's not a trend line until there is another point of connection. Now, this is done automatically, and that is the beauty of this indicator. As soon as I saw this, I said a trend line, and it's bullish. Go long. Go long. Amazing move up. Just a terrific, terrific move up. Now, these kind of a dotted lines, these are historical trend lines. Historical because they were broken. So there was a trend line coming down here, but that was broken. However, as price began to arrive here, I kind of began to kind of protect myself. I'd start moving up my stop in case there was a reaction of this trend line. No reaction. Price goes a bit higher. So if we can, there was another trend line here coming down. So again, I'm cautious, right? I am long, but I am cautious because there could be now reaction down. Sure enough, and again, you see the dot, there was a connection here to a, a trend line that started earlier, and there is a move down. There is a move down. Now, it just so happens that I was... In my live room, I was bullish, so I did not take the short trade. Uh, but the short trade was available, and, and you saw it clearly in real time, clearly. Um, price was coming down and connects here again. So in real time now, this indicator corrects the trend line. It still keeps this one, but now it adjusts a little bit in real time. And another... Uh, connection here, I get a dot long ago. Again, the trend lines coming down. I am careful. Uh, there would be a short trade here, which again, I did not take for a number of reasons. Even if in my own trading plan, 
because of some prices we hit on the downside that was bullish anyway but besides that this short would be going right into the trend line here you see so no i, I don't want to take a short because it goes right into an area that could hold the price up that's why i'm not interested on this time frame in the actual signal of a trend line break i'm much more interested to see will this hold and it holds and it holds and just exploded up absolute explosion up just a huge move higher now as it as it's going up oh excuse me guys one second one second guys i'm sorry just shut this now it's break as it's going up it is breaking through trend lines so again i'm long i'm not interested to take a short but these trend lines break and you can see this is a historical trend line connects again it was another connection right over here clear connection and again another move higher now again um no trend line here to suggest any kind of a short move the software does identify a pivot a high over here uh but price is coming down and you see how the software adjusts these now this happens in real time um adjusts the trend line because this one did not hold okay but this one does and we have another move higher and now it's the end of the day and uh wow <laughs> so yeah the end of the day so um so the point of this exercise is not is number one to just to make you understand that it's not like you see the trend line starting here that's not the case i wish would not be great but no you need a second pivot to start creating uh this trend line a and then you just you want to start looking does it hold does it hold yes it does uh does this hold yes it does so all these opportunities to the upside uh and then even with micros just with micros um you you can do very well for yourself um in a day the thing is like in here it's not exactly a trending market right i mean it's pretty sharp moves but comes right back so this is here is not really a trending market but the software does pick up that you have higher lows right the software does pick it up you have higher highs you have higher lows and just go up right so yeah unfortunately i also had the russell and i had i had crude oil and you know what if you guys are patient if you give me just one minute i will very quickly uh, try and create a chart here and i apologize but i do want to show you something more than just the nasdaq uh, the thing is, uh, as I said, let me just quickly create a chart here. Let's quickly. Uh, one minute. Okay, why don't I see this? It's done. I just really want to show you something more than than just uh, just the Nasdaq. Okay. Let me just uh, delete the signals almost there guys thank you for your patience i appreciate it okay so yeah see that's not That's not quite right. Because for the one minute, I need to adjust the settings, and I just don't remember 
what I did. Um, we can still talk about it. It's just that it's really difficult like this, but yeah, it's a bit difficult without um, the right settings there. Because the thing with crude oil was pretty much um, after it opened at 9 o'clock, at first it was all kind of short. And you can see, it, I mean, in real time, there were these trend lines here. So again, you need the second pivot. So it's coming down here. This was a pivot to sell. This was a pivot to sell over here. Then there were pivots to buy, but not till later, like over here. I don't know if you can say this because this is all historical. Um, but there was the first pivot. This is the second one. This is when the long was, when this line held uh, right over here. And then it was just up we go. Very solid uh, move up in crude. And this was identified by this connecting pivot uh, with this trend line. Um, just a bit more difficult to see when it's a historical chart like this. Unfortunately, again, I lost my I lost my um, workspace. So, yeah, let me see if I can find. I think I have a Darvis chart somewhere. Okay, so this is a Darvis chart. And so this is 9.30. So a Darvis chart, you, you can have all kinds of time. You can have a one-minute chart. You can have tick charts. Uh, you could have um, an Inzerenko chart. As a matter of fact, I, I traded it uh, some days ago with, uh, with an Inzerenko. Works fine with an Inzerenko. Um, if you want something a little slower, because Inzerenko is pretty fast, if you want something a little slower, you can pick a tick chart. Uh, that that's acceptable. So, you know, um, up after the open, there was a short, uh, then the long. So you see how it kind of keeps you, even when things are choppy, this here is pretty choppy. Uh, but because of the idea of a price, a price breakout um, above the box, it will still uh, keep you in a right trend, in the right direction here. Uh, with some heat. I mean, when things are choppy, things are choppy. But um, once things begin to move, it, it's just very solid. Very solid. Because it can withstand this kind of a chop here. See, there is no consideration of going short here. No consideration at all. Because uh, this is all above this square, above this um, box that's been created. So... You're not going to get a short here. It's just a question of how accurate, let's say, is the long without uh, taking too much heat. So that's that's the thing. Um, and once the trend up is over, right, we have a nice trend up. And once it's over, here comes the trend down. And again, so now it's going to keep you on the short side. Price keeps going lower. So these boxes keep breaking to the downside. Um, and that keeps you um, afloat, keeps you in the right direction of the market. Then price starts to go up again. And here it is. It, it gets you in the trends fairly early because every new trend will start with some kind of a breakout. It's going to start with some kind of a move the other way. And, and this indicator, especially the way Ninzako created it, uh, really will keep you in these trends beautifully. You see, like, even in the chop, I mean, this is, this is choppy over here, but because of the way the indicator is, it's just going to keep you in these long positions because overall, overall, the market is moving higher. Yes, with retracements that would kill most indicators, these kind of retracements, but this one stays with it. This one stays with it. See that? Even though there was the smooth lower, there was no short. There was no short because uh, the overall move is still higher. So that's what I mean by, uh, so you see here is a short. There was no subsequent long, but definitely this short took a lot of heat, probably a stop.
realistically speaking. Uh, this is probably a stop. Uh, but then, you know, this one takes over, and here is another great short. Then things turn bullish again, right? A breakout to the upside. Another thing is that you can be ready. You know when a signal is coming because there are these, uh, whatever color this is, yellowish type of, of, a, of a box. You know a breakout from this box is going to give you a trade. So you kind of sit ready here as things are happening. If it breaks down, it's a short. Breaks up, it's a long. Here is a long. And just keeps, keeps staying long. And here is a short. And just keeps staying short. So you see, you will always be in the trend. Obviously, when I say a trend, it depending on whatever time frame you are using, right? A trend on a 300 tick chart is not a trend on a five minute chart necessarily. But whatever time frame you are using, it's going to keep you in that trend. Very effective. Look at this one, <laughs> right? I mean, and then, you know, into the box, end of day. Uh, looks like there was a short here. So there, there was a short that definitely um, did not work out. And then because there was really no price congestion, there was no long here, unfortunately, right? So this is the end of the day anyway. I'm not saying you would you would trade here. Um, but um, yeah, this is, um, this is the S&P. Let's see. No, let me see if I can. Hold on. Again, I apologize, uh, but Ninja Trader really screwed me up today. What to do? Let's uh, see something here. So maybe, okay, hold on. Here is gold. Here is gold. So the, the same exact idea. I mean, the, the markets don't matter. It's, it's the same exact, uh, oh no, again? All right, well, <laughs> Ninja Trader crashed again. I'm sorry. Uh, this is very frustrating. Uh, Ninja Trader crashed again. And so there's no point trying anything now. Can't believe it. Twice in one day. Any case, then let's... Uh, I'm sorry about this. Let's get to the deal. So... Um, my understanding is that each one of these indicators goes for this price. If I'm guessing right, this looks right. Uh, they're going to give you both of them for 496, at least if you're in the first uh, 20 copies. So, um, yeah, and this is good for, I guess, well, this good for 48 hours or, I guess, uh, 20 copies. See if there's anything else with the gift or anything. This is just uh, more examples of the same. I, get, I don't know what is going on with my Ninja Trader, but I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> this was not planned. But even from there, you know, perfect-looking screenshots, in reality, <laughs> this is very close to reality. Uh, maybe not to, to this extreme. Uh, but Darvis uh, does have an absolutely amazing ability uh, to keep you in uh, trends. It will get you into a trend early, and it will keep you there until things uh, turn around. So uh, this might be a short presentation <laughs> because I have no charts to show, and without charts, I am lost. So I can just going to show you uh, <clears throat> screenshots from Ninzico. And again, look, you, you're going to have your losing trades, obviously, as with anything. But I'm telling you, with Darvas, even with a semi-trending market, um, indicator like Darvas is going to keep you um, in trends. And depending how long you're willing to stay, it can keep you there for a long time, as long as the market obviously cooperates. Uh, this is the screenshot, and I had this chart, had it, um, we, that you can combine on a one-minute chart, Darvas and trend line automation. So uh, that's when you actually have both of them on the same chart. I wish I could show it to you. Do they have them here? Hold on. Maybe they have them here. 
Uh, is this perhaps it? I don't know. But yeah, this is what they had. I believe it was on the NASDAQ. I'm not sure. Uh, but this one combines them both on the same chart. And that's that was uh, very interesting um, because what it does is it would actually filter some uh, Darvis signals that go, let's say, against the overall direction that the trend line automation indicator picks up. So just like when we saw on the... Um, on the one minute chart on the NASDAQ, if there was a Darvis signal against that powerful trend line that was going up, you can actually filter that then. So so it does help. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it can really work with any bar type. That's, that's one thing that's true for actually both of these indicators. Um, any bar type, uh, time charts, tick charts, uh, Renko charts, Okay, so they they leave some some best practices here. Um, obviously, you need to have you know risk reward, at least a one to one. You can even do better than one to one. I think, especially with a trend line <clears throat> indicator, you can do better than one to one, and and do absolutely fine. Especially if you use maybe not so much Renko charts, but if you use um, like time charts. For me, trend lines are most effective with time charts, uh, more than anything, at least from my experience, uh, more than anything else. Time charts are really um, are, are very effective. Okay, so yeah, just more, more Darvis. And I remind you again, 48 hours. So where's the deal again? Let me bring you up to the deal again. Boy, this wasn't my best presentation. I'll tell you this much. I'm sorry again. Yeah, so um, I actually made a video. I sent it to Ninzako, but I did not see it on a YouTube channel yet. I did a video um, yesterday where I uh, traded both the trend line automation and Darvis, not on the same chart. I had different charts with our trend line automation and Darvis. And so, yeah, guys, unfortunately, um, I have no Ninja Trader. And um, first time, well, I can't say first time it happened, but uh, just really bad timing. Um, let me have a drink of water. I'll come back. And if you have any questions, um, I'll answer those questions. Give me just... Uh, one minute. Well, give me a couple of minutes. Get a water. Type your questions if you have any. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I don't see any questions. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, why don't I see any questions? Um, uh, I see you typing before. As you can see me, so I'm in the right place. But I don't see any questions. Okay. Uh, well... <laughs> Then I guess, uh, yeah, I don't see any questions. So again, if you need to get in touch with me, if I didn't go over something, if you want to see other charts, uh, you can email me uh, with any questions. Uh, over, overall, these two indicators both are, are very solid. Uh, if you ask me which one do I prefer, it's not so much a matter of preference. Um, they kind of have different roles, I believe, uh, but both are excellent in getting you into trends. So, I don't see any questions. So, uh, thank you very much. Again, I apologize for my ninja trader today. Hopefully, it won't happen again. And I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Best of luck.